When we process photos, Jay and I use a careful manual blending technique that we've developed over the years. Rather than using special blending software, we use the robust tools in Photoshop to get the finished images to look exactly how we want them. We can't teach the entire process in a short video like this, but we've put together a basic overview to give you an idea of how it works. We start out with two or more bracketed images, or a single raw image that's been processed twice. This particular image was taken in Glacier National Park on Going to the Sun Road. It's one of two bracketed images. This shot is exposed for the shadows. The foreground and the mountains look just right in this shot, but notice that the highlights in the sky are overexposed. This second image was properly exposed for the highlights. Take a look at the area around the sun and most of the sky. They look pretty darn good. The shadows, on the other hand, are very much underexposed. The technique involves creating a blending mask that looks something like this. Of course, the mask will be different for each image. Notice that some parts of the mask are blurred, while others have sharp edges. This allows us to bring out the details in each part of the image without producing halos. The tonality of the mask, how dark or how light it is in any given area, determines how the layer contributes to the final image. Here's the finished image. Shadows and depth are preserved, and blending occurs only where it's needed. The result is a realistic representation of the scene that feels natural to the viewer. If you're interested in learning more, you can check out our IHDR webinar recordings to learn how we create our blending masks and how we use them to produce results like this. We hope you enjoyed this short video tutorial. Visit our websites for more learning materials, including ebooks and webinar recordings. Have a nice day!